Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to talk about something different. I'm going to talk about granny pods, what they are and why they are so attractive. And in my case, it's going to be a nana cottage and I'm going to give you a tour and we're going to be talking all about the new trend of granny pods and why they are so attractive to people who are now over 60 and ready to downsize and yet they still want to be close to their families. The number one benefit of having a granny pod or Nana's cottage is being next to my family. Just being a few steps away from the people that I love. My cottage is close to the big house. <laughs> that belongs to my son, where I can enjoy the ambiance of my porch, of their porch, and have the run of the property, but yet have my own privacy, where I can sit outside and have my breakfast or have coffee, where I can do all of my reading and I can do editing on my pod. This is my kitchen and in my kitchen I don't have a stove but I do have a large grill. I have an electric European cooktop plate and I have a convection microwave. Everything that I need in my kitchen without having a, a stove built in. I have a comfortable living room, and as you can see, Sophie likes to lounge around in the sun on the couch. I have since made a lot of changes in decor, but this is basically my lifestyle. My bedroom has cathedral ceilings, and this is a wreath that I brought for me from New Jersey that I took from our property, all the vines and everything that I, so it's a little piece of my former life right here with me in Nashville. And of course, this is where I do all of my work on my computer and all of my editing. You can see my tripod there, my gorilla pod. I have since bought a beautiful wraparound shower curtain for the bathroom. The bathroom is really large and spacious. I love it. It has two windows so that I can get cross ventilation and this beautiful Italian tile my son found and put in for me. And as I said, it's big and spacious and lovely, and it's just a great way to wake up in the morning. But having a small environment is so great when you can also be near your family. And years from now, if I need some type of care, I mean, I hate to think about it, but it is reality, then I will be close to my son where uh, he, they can look in on me. Now this is my exercise studio. It used to be his old recording studio, but he changed it, switched it up for me and made it into a ballet bar exercise room. And we have fresh eggs every day because he has chickens. And we have since added to this. This was well, the original coop, but now it's two gray big coops. And here are the lovely ladies that I sometimes come out. I open up their coop in the morning and this is Butterball. She's the big fat hen in the front and I just love her. Always lays eggs every day. But they are pasture chickens that are free range. And of course being able to have a cottage with the ambiance of acreage around me is, is so beautiful. I mean I don't have that here in South Beach. So it is an entirely different lifestyle that reminds me of my life in New Jersey. But I love small granny pod living. I love the lifestyle. I love so much the ease of it 
and knowing that I'm close to my family and I can switch it up a bit. I mean, going from South Beach to Florida to Nashville kind of gives me a diversion and a little break in my life. I had that when I had my home in New Jersey. And when I sold my big house and downsized, I really didn't know whether uh, I could just be in a condo for the rest of my life. So luckily my son thought of me and he built this refurbished, actually he refurbished his old music studio and gave me a nice place for Arthur and I to come to in the summer. There are so many Granny Pod plans out there. I will put some links below that you can see other Granny Pod videos. But it's an idea that if you're planning on downsizing and you want to be near your family, if they have enough property to put you in the backyard, it really is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I think the benefits of having your own space, but yet being around your family so that you can be a part of their lives. I think it's so hard today with families and children moving away because of having to earn a living in different parts of the country that we have lost that family unit feeling. And honestly, this is the modern way to get back that family closeness, that family feeling, without having to spend a lot of money uh, um, buying a house near your children or building a big house near their children. The best alternative, if they have space in the backyard, is to try tiny life living. And it really, I didn't know that I could get used to it because I lived in a big five bedroom house. But living in the condo in Florida kind of was another step for me because it's not as big as my other house. But I find that tiny living is becoming more and more attractive, not only for me, but for so many families that are wondering whether or not to cash out, sell their big house, and spend the next chapter of their lives enjoying their families. I truly am an advocate of granny pod living, of tiny house living, or as in my case, of Nana Cottage Living. Because I really feel that once again, I'm back with my family and enjoying as much time as I can with them. And to me, that's worth all the money in the world. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be good to yourself. Be kind to whomever crosses your path. And don't forget to share the love. And I hope I will see you in my next video.